Good morning, you can feel it. The crisp air, the hint of color in the leaves. Fall is here, and with it comes the first freeze. Before you panic about your plants, let's break down what the first freeze really means. It's not the same everywhere. Timing depends on where you live, from the Rockies to the coasts. The first freeze is when temperatures hit 32 degrees Fahrenheit or lower after summer, marking the end of the growing season for many. It's the official goodbye to summer and the start of sweater weather. Grab your coffee, let's dive into the forecast. Let's begin our journey into the first hints of winter, early to mid-September. This is the time of year when the landscape starts to transform, and the air takes on a crispness that signals the end of summer's warmth. In the quiet hours of the morning, you might step outside to find a delicate layer of frost sparkling on the grass, a subtle but unmistakable sign that the seasons are shifting. The sun rises a little later, and the days begin to shorten, casting a golden glow over fields and forests. For many, this is the most magical time of year, when the world feels fresh and new, yet tinged with the anticipation of colder days ahead. High elevations in the northern and central Rockies, places like Montana, Wyoming and Colorado, are the first to feel winter's early touch. Here, the mountains stand tall, their peaks often dusted with the season's first snow, while the valleys below are still clinging to the last remnants of summer. The air is brisk, and the scent of pine mixes with the chill, creating an invigorating atmosphere. Hikers and locals alike wake up to see their breath in the air, and the landscape is transformed overnight by a shimmering coat of frost. These regions are nature's early warning system, letting us know that the cold is on its way. The northern plains, including North Dakota and northern Minnesota, are next in line. Here the vast open fields make it easy for cold air to sweep down from Canada, bringing with it the first real taste of winter. Farmers keep a close eye on the forecast knowing that a single night of frost can change the course of the harvest. The landscape, once lush and green, begins to take on the muted tones of autumn, and the mornings are filled with the crunch of frozen grass underfoot. It's a time of both urgency and beauty, as communities prepare for the long months ahead. In the upper Midwest, places like Wisconsin and Michigan's Upper Peninsula experience a rapid transition from the lingering warmth of summer to the first frosty mornings. The change can feel sudden. One day you're enjoying a late summer picnic, and the next you're reaching for a jacket before heading outside. Rural communities here are well versed in the rhythms of the season, and there's a sense of tradition in the way people prepare for the coming cold. The first frost is both a warning and a celebration, marking the start of autumn's true arrival. In the northeast, the mountain peaks like the Adirondacks, the Green Mountains and the White Mountains often see their first freeze by mid-September. These high elevations are among the earliest places to trade green for gold and red as the trees respond to the chill in the air. Hikers and nature lovers flock to these regions to witness the transformation, as misty mornings give way to clear, crisp days. The first freeze here is a signal not just for people, but for the entire ecosystem to begin preparing for winter. For locals across these regions, early to mid-September is a time of preparation. Gardeners rush to harvest the last of their crops before the frost can damage them. Potted plants are brought indoors or covered to protect them from the cold. Homeowners check their furnaces and seal up windows, making sure their homes are ready for the months ahead. There's a sense of urgency but also a feeling of accomplishment as each task is checked off the list. These rituals connect people to the land and to the changing seasons in a way that feels timeless. The arrival of the first freeze also sparks a dramatic change in the natural world. Leaves begin to turn brilliant shades of yellow, orange, and red, painting the landscape in vibrant colors. Wildlife responds too. Deer grow thicker coats, birds gather in flocks for migration, and squirrels busily prepare their nests. The entire ecosystem is in motion, responding to the subtle cues that signal the approach of winter. It's a time of both beauty and bustle, as every living thing gets ready for the challenges ahead. If you find yourself in places like Jackson, Wyoming, International Falls, Minnesota, or among the high mountain peaks, you're experiencing the very front lines of this seasonal shift. These communities are accustomed to being the first to greet the cold, and there's a certain pride in leading the charge into autumn. The early frost is a badge of honor, a reminder of the resilience and adaptability required to thrive in these environments. For the rest of us, the first freeze may still be a few weeks away, but the signs are all around us. 
The days are growing shorter, the air is cooler, and the landscape is slowly changing. Whether you're ready or not, autumn is on its way, bringing with it a sense of renewal and the promise of new beginnings. So, keep an eye out for that first frosty morning, it's just around the corner. As autumn deepens, early October brings the first freeze to a huge swath of the country. The landscape transforms almost overnight. Fields and forests that were lush and green just days ago now shimmer with a delicate layer of frost. The air feels sharper, and the mornings are suddenly quieter, as if the world is pausing to take a breath before the true cold sets in. This is the moment when summer's memory finally fades, replaced by the unmistakable arrival of fall. Across the Central Plains, Nebraska, Kansas, and the High Plains including Eastern Colorado and the Texas and Oklahoma Panhandles, the weather can change in a heartbeat. One day it's warm enough for short sleeves, the next you wake up to a world transformed by ice. Farmers hurry to bring in the last of the corn and soybeans, racing against the clock as the threat of a hard freeze looms. Ranchers check on their herds, making sure water troughs haven't frozen overnight. These dramatic temperature swings are a hallmark of the region, and everyone knows to keep a jacket handy just in case. The upper Midwest and northern Great Lakes, southern Minnesota, most of Wisconsin and Michigan, join in as lake effects fade and the first real cold settles in. The lakes which have been holding onto summer's warmth, finally start to cool, and the air above them loses its last bit of resistance to the chill. Mornings here are filled with the sound of migrating geese, and the sight of orchards bustling with activity as workers rush to harvest apples before the frost can damage the fruit. The landscape is painted in golds, reds, and oranges, but the first frost signals that these colors won't last much longer. In the northeast, valleys and lower elevations, places like the Adirondacks, Catskills, and the rolling hills of the Appalachians, get their first real taste of frost. Small towns wake to see rooftops and lawns dusted in white, and the smell of wood smoke drifts through the crisp air. Hikers and nature lovers flock to the trails, eager to catch the fleeting beauty of autumn before winter's grip tightens. The first frost is both a warning and a celebration, a reminder that the season of abundance is ending, but also that some of the most beautiful days of the year are still to come. This is prime leaf-peeping season, cold nights and sunny days make the colors pop like nowhere else on earth. Tourists and locals alike head out to parks and forests, cameras in hand, hoping to capture the perfect shot of fiery maples and golden oaks. Families take weekend drives along scenic byways, and children play in piles of leaves, their laughter echoing through the crisp air. The combination of chilly nights and bright sunshine creates a spectacle that draws people from miles around, eager to witness nature's grand finale before the leaves fall for good. Gardeners rush to harvest and protect tender plants before the killing freeze. There's a sense of urgency in the air as people gather the last tomatoes, peppers, and squash, covering what they can with blankets or tarps. Pumpkins and gourds, now dusted with frost, are quickly brought inside or arranged on porches for decoration. Even the hardiest greens, kale, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts get a little sweeter after a light frost, but everyone knows the window for fresh produce is closing fast. It's a race against time, and every morning brings a new layer of ice to contend with. Windows close, heaters kick on, and cozy routines begin. The scent of hot coffee and cinnamon fills kitchens, and families gather around fireplaces or under thick blankets to ward off the chill. Slippers and warm socks become daily essentials, and the first fires of the season crackle in wood stoves and hearths. It's a time for comfort food, for slow-cooked stews and fresh-baked bread, as everyone settles in for the colder months ahead. The rituals of warmth and togetherness take center stage, making the transition to fall feel a little less harsh. Early October's freeze marks the true start of fall, no more denying it. The landscape shifts from green to gold almost overnight, and the first heavy frost signals that the easy days of autumn are ending. Wildlife responds too, squirrels gather acorns with renewed urgency, and birds flock together, preparing for the long journey south. The rhythm of life changes and everyone, human and animal alike, adapts to the new season. If you're in Omaha, Des Moines, Albany or Pittsburgh, get those coats ready. The first real chill of the season means it's time to dig out scarves, hats and gloves. School children wait for the bus bundled up against the cold, and commuters scrape frost from their windshields before heading to work. Even pets get in on the act, donning sweaters for their morning walks. The city parks are quieter now, but the beauty of autumn lingers in every golden leaf and every breath of crisp, clean air. 
The big chill is here and with it comes a sense of renewal and anticipation. Each frosty morning is a reminder that change is in the air, and that the quiet beauty of early October is something to savor. Whether you're bracing for winter or simply enjoying the last brilliant days of fall, this is a season that invites us all to slow down, bundle up, and appreciate the world as it transforms before our eyes. By mid-October, the freeze line pushes further south and east. The southern Appalachians, Great Smoky Mountains, West Virginia, Shenandoah Valley, see their first widespread frost. Elevation creates big differences. Valleys may stay frost-free while peaks freeze early. Fall festivals, apple orchards, and vineyards all feel the impact. Frost can sweeten apples but threaten grapes. Gardeners scramble to harvest and winterize. The air shifts, wood smoke, crunchy leaves, and the urgency of winter prep fill the senses. If you're in Asheville, Charleston, or Harrisonburg, the first real bite of winter is near. Embrace the cozy season ahead. As November arrives, the first freeze finally reaches the southern plains and mid-south. Southern Oklahoma, central and western Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, northern Mississippi and Alabama all get their first frost. The southeast's inland areas, like Atlanta, see the growing season end. The freeze comes gradually here, closing out summer and starting holiday prep. Gardeners enjoy a long season, but now it's time to clear out summer crops and plant cool weather varieties. Outdoor life shifts, mild afternoons, football and hiking replace summer's heat. For cotton farmers, the freeze helps with harvest. If you're in Oklahoma City, Dallas, Memphis or Atlanta, get ready, winter's knocking. Enjoy the best weather of the year before the real cold sets in. As autumn deepens and the calendar flips past Halloween, some regions across the United States continue to bask in mild temperatures, holding on to warmth long after much of the country has already experienced its first frost. In these special places, the first freeze often doesn't arrive until mid-November or even later, and in some cases, it may not come at all. This lingering warmth shapes not only the landscape, but also the way people live, garden, and enjoy the outdoors as the year winds down. The West Coast, stretching from the misty shores of Seattle down to the sun-drenched beaches of San Diego, is a prime example of this phenomenon. Thanks to the vast Pacific Ocean, which acts like a giant thermal blanket, temperatures here are slow to drop. The ocean's moderating effect keeps coastal air mild, making freezes both rare and, when they do occur, quite late in the season. In cities like Seattle and Portland, the first freeze often holds off until mid-November, sometimes even later. The air remains damp and cool, but rarely cold enough to threaten tender plants. Meanwhile, in coastal California, from the Bay Area down through Los Angeles, a freeze is almost unheard of. Here, gardens flourish year-round, and citrus trees can be heavy with fruit even as the rest of the country bundles up for winter. Moving inland, the desert southwest tells a different story. Cities like Phoenix and the Imperial Valley experience a dramatic shift as summer's relentless heat finally gives way to cooler nights. The first freeze typically arrives in late November signaling the start of what many locals consider the best time of year, when outdoor life becomes comfortable again and the desert landscape comes alive with color. For gardeners along the west coast, the growing season feels almost endless. While a brief cold snap might nip at the edges of a garden, it rarely spells disaster. Instead, these gardeners can enjoy harvesting vegetables, tending to flowers and even picking fresh citrus well into the winter months. The mild climate means that gardening is a year-round pursuit with only the occasional need to protect sensitive plants. In places like Phoenix or Las Vegas, the arrival of the first freeze is almost a celebration. After enduring months of triple-digit temperatures, residents welcome the cool, crisp air. It's a time when people flock outdoors, enjoying parks, hiking trails, and patios that were too hot to visit during the summer. The desert's brief winter is a season of renewal and relief. Citrus growers, whether in California or Florida, keep a close eye on the forecast as the year winds down. While freezes are rare, a sudden cold snap can threaten entire crops. These growers are always ready to take action, deploying wind machines, irrigation or protective coverings to shield their precious fruit from the chill. Along the Gulf Coast and throughout Florida, the story is much the same. Here, the first freeze may not arrive until December or even January, and in some years it never comes at all. Palm trees sway in the gentle breeze and beaches remain inviting, even as winter grips the rest of the country. The subtropical climate allows for lush gardens and vibrant landscapes deep into the winter months. 
For residents of these warm regions, preparing for a freeze is a minor event. When a cold night is in the forecast, it's usually enough to simply cover tropical plants or move potted flowers indoors for a night or two. There's no need for the heavy preparations seen in colder climates, just a little extra care to ensure that the garden bounces back quickly. So, if you find yourself in San Francisco, Los Angeles, Phoenix, or anywhere along the Gulf Coast or in Florida, take a moment to appreciate your endless autumn. While others are scraping frost from their windshields and watching their gardens fade, you can savor the mild air, vibrant landscapes, and the unique pleasures of a climate where winter is just a gentle pause in the year's cycle. That's the Coast to Coast Free Story. Timing varies wildly by region. Remember, these are averages. Every year is different, so check a frost date map for your zip code. Tools like the Old Farmer's Almanac or National Gardening Association give you personalized predictions. Prep now. Harvest, drain hoses, grab a scraper, so you're ready. Subscribe for more weather tips and updates. Stay warm out there.